Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. Good morning, everybody. It's Paul Nisa with Torah Life Ministries. We have a, one of my favorite recording artists. Uh, she uses the name Yahweh and Yeshua in many of her songs. Beautiful voice. Uh, check her out. Her name is Brenda Wheeler. Here's her interview. Say hello, Brenda, to everyone. Hello, everyone. Okay, and Brenda, uh, you are a musician. Did you grow up being a musician, or is it something you learned more recently? I did grow up as a musician. My father was a country musician, so I learned it from him, and my mother also, she plays the piano. So. Uh, wonderful, and uh, you grew up as a Seventh-day Adventist. Yes. And as you were singing growing up, I'm sure you used, uh, like most Christian songs, the titles of God and Lord and so on, but I notice in your songs now, you, you use the messianic names of, of Yahweh and Yeshua. Yes, uh, what do. made you decide to, to, to do that? Well, the first CD that I made was um, I wrote for my children about the pieces of the armor from Ephesians because I read a book about people who had um, left witchcraft. And um, to them, the spiritual warfare, they literally see um, the weaponry or whatever. I don't know. So... I decided to use the name so that they would have the warfare and they would have the names. Oh, wonderful. And uh, ha has your music been accepted by the secular world or even the Christian world as much? Um, more lately than ever. But yeah, at first they thought I was pretty weird, everybody all around. Because I'm messianic doing country music and I'm uh, Christian saying all these odd names. So it never didn't really fit anywhere. But um, it's becoming more accepted. And uh, country music seems very close to a lot of the psalms that were sung in the Seventh-day Adventist church and so on, but today there's a lot of fast, heavy rock music and so on that people call Christian if it's Christian lyrics. What's your opinion about that? Um, I, I think that Father uses many ways to reach people because he sees their heart and I think he has hooks in everywhere. And then um, as they learn, they learn and grow and change and he refines people, but I think that... Um, I think he uses everything. And if you can give any advice to young children today and just people today who are musicians that they want to be more popular so they don't want to have a Christian uh, tune to their song, or so to say, what would your advice be to them? Well, I think that it's most rewarding to, um, to do music for the Father. When you're doing it for the world, the world's going to tear you down. So do it for Him right from the very beginning and not for the world. Do it the way that he leads you to do it. And do you write all your own songs? I write probably 90%. Yeah. And out of all the things that inspire you the most to write your songs, what, what would be at the top of the list? My children. Your children. How many children do you have? Three boys. Three boys. And yeah. what's your opinion about uh, home births? Oh, I think everybody should have their babies at home. Um, it's 100% different than having them. Uh, in the hospital, it's a spiritual experience instead of a medical experience. Actually, the first time that I felt the spirit was when I had my son Levi at home after being in the church my whole life. It's actually the first time I, I felt the spirit all around me. And uh, some people have, are deciding to have babies at home without a midwife, just with the, the parents or somebody close to the family. Have you ever heard of that and what's your opinion? Yes. Um, unassisted childbirth is what Father laid on my heart to do with my last son, Ian, and I didn't follow through with it, and I let fear get in the way, and I did get a midwife, and um, I actually couldn't have the baby until I got away from her in the car. <laughs> so if the father is leading you in that direction, then I think that um, you can trust him with your babies. Wow, and what's your opinion of homeschool? Homeschool, A+. Plus. All right, and what's your opinion of vaccinations? Vaccinations, boo. <laughs> Great. And Brenda, what do you think sets your music apart from other musicians? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I really enjoy doing it. I really enjoy writing. Um, when I write, I, I pray that the Father will help me to write things that will... Um, it's like um, more introspective. It's not necessarily something that you're going to want to get up and dance to. Sometimes you will, but mostly it's introspective um, about your relationship, about how it's a love relationship a lot of times. I have a question for your mom. Hi, Barbara. This is uh, Brenda's mom. I'm Barbara. Uh, uh, are you a Seventh-day Adventist? Yeah. I'm uh, fourth generation. My children are fifth, 
Sabbath keepers now. And grandchildren are sixth Sabbath keeper generation. And what's your opinion about the whole Messianic movement and, and how your daughter sings music with the names, the Messianic names? I love the Messianic movement. I mean, the Adventist Church is waiting for all these people to start keeping Sabbath and coming out of the world, and it's happening everywhere, and they're very unaware of it. If they do go to Adventist Church, they walk in one door and out the other. Wow. They don't stay, usually. I you mean, know? although I love, I have a lot of Adventist people I love in there. It's, I love the Messianic group. Well, the, the Adventist Church has been teaching Ellen White's health message for a long time, but they don't follow it today. Right. Uh, you know, do you think we can be, they can be led uh, back there, or do you think there's uh, more of a bigger issue? I think the health message is supposed to be the right arm of the message, and we, uh, Adventist, me including, have let everybody down, so other people are carrying up the message, like you are, and other people in the world are teaching how to be healthy, and we're supposed to be doing it, and how to be vegetarian, and how to eat right. Thank you so much, and we definitely look to have you again on the show. But Brenda, getting back to you here, uh, do you have a favorite song of all your songs? Right now, I think my favorite song is Awake. I wrote that song, um, it's kind of from the perspective of Mary and Martha, and um, how we're like that, and we're waiting for Yeshua to come back to awaken our brother. So that's, I think, my favorite song right now, and um, there's um, another song that I just wrote that hasn't been out yet, but it's called, it's about the maidens and about um, getting your oil, a whole lot of oil. That's one of my Can you give us uh, one verse from uh, Awake? Oh, from Awake? Okay. Yes. He's coming to your house today. Heard the good news, he's on his way. Been gone so long, been waiting for days. But he's coming to this house today. When he was gone, my brother fell asleep. All I can do now is pray and weep. But the master, he might save him still. I believe he could and I hope he will. Yeshua, he's the miracle man. And he's the only hope we've ever had. With joy and healing in his hands. For all the sons of Abraham. Finds us all where we feel. At the ends of the earth in the empty well. And he'll triumph over death and hell To awaken sleeping Israel Wonderful. Thank you so much. Now, you're a professional recording artist, right? And how many albums do you have out now? Three. Three. Uh, what's your website where people can see more information about you? BrendaWheeler.com BrendaWheeler.com. And you have a Facebook page as well? Yes. And Perfect. they can purchase your albums on your websites? Yes. Okay. And uh, wonderful. Now. I'm going to ask you something real special now. Okay. I have a web show called the Raw Life Health Show. Okay. And I have my friend Joseph Israel, who's a recording artist, a messianic recording artist, who sings reggae music. Have you ever heard of him? No. Joseph I've Israel, he's wonderful. He wrote the beginning tune of my show, and it's just basically uh, uh, nature's health is good for your wealth. It's the Raw Life Health Show. Can you give us that same thing as, as another version so I can do oh, it as sure. a special? Okay. Sure. Nature's wealth, it's good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. All right, everybody, there it was, Brenda Wheeler. Uh, it's just uh, an amazingly blessed voice and an amazingly blessed woman. Check out her website, and we'll see her in the future. Until then, have a great day, everybody. Seek the truth, avoid the evil. Learn Yahweh's way.